This is my Honda HS1332 review. Um, I just got this about a year and a half ago. Uh, it was actually eight seventy five at in the back of a Honda dealership. Um, typically they're like sixteen hundred to twenty two hundred used on uh, Craigslist and Facebook Market. It's a sweet snowblower. Um, it's commercial, obviously. It's got a 389 uh, cc engine, 390 actually, cc engine, which is 13 horsepower. Um, everything looks pretty mint. Um, when you buy these Hondas used, the only way you can really tell um, for the, the year of it is there's a serial number in the back. Let me show you. Right near the release, there's a serial number here that you have to call Honda and um, just ask for to speak to someone that knows about serial numbers and they'll give you the year this is a 2013 um, whenever you're you're uh, whenever you get one of these two make sure this is on engaged instead of released because if it's engaged that means that that when the engines running it's self-propelled basically when it's released you don't want it on uh, with the engine on because it could mess up the transmission. Um, that's easy to go back and forth on. Um, I I got one of these. Actually a decal on eBay. Just for just to look kind of cool with the Honda. Uh, it's a really nice machine. It's big. Um, some of the features from looking at the manual is. There's hydrostatic fluid. Uh, it tells you the temperature and everything what it's supposed to be um what else? the shear pins you got to look for too and the teeth when you look at used make sure they have teeth and not too round it because concrete and stuff can mess it up with the roundness um the auger too make sure there's no cracks or anything um this is in decent shape make sure it doesn't spin freely because that means the shear pin broke and I keep separate shear pins on the side. Um, these are all different shear pins that go inside. There's like four different kinds. There's one here. One here up and down. It shows online how to do those shear pins too. One here on the shaft. And then one back here. They make it easy so this whole assembly comes out. Which is awesome. Um, thing I like about these Hondas is um the <clears throat> the height of the auger you can make it so it's high up or medium uh snow or ice so i'll show you how to do that uh for that you can just control this easily with your foot so you just step on it and it brings it down and you can see it brings the auger up like this see how the auger went up and that you can do deep snow with that um they actually put this on as a precaution because the bottoms usually get messed up and worn up in the front but mine looks good there's a new skid plate that's another thing to check um there's no rot or anything down here um a lot of the snow blowers hondas that um don't they don't get uh treated well They'll just be all routed underneath. But that's another thing to check. Um, when you do this to the foot pedal, you have to lift up, kind of. Lift up, and you'll feel the engagement. That That's medium snow. You can see it went like that. And this is ice. So you just push it. That's ice, basically. Um, I like, with the Honda, I keep it in the middle. When I store it. With the Honda I like the gas tank. It has a gas tank right here. Uh, it's half tank right now basically. Um, I keep StarTron in it. Just so it's nicely uh, maintained. Every time I fill up I put StarTron a cap full. Uh, things I like about this Honda. Easy to start. It's the biggest Honda you can get at 13 horsepower. Um, they do have a 1336, but this is a 1332. Uh, the 
MSRP price on this is $3,400, which is a lot. I don't think I would pay that, um, but used, I'd take it for under 1000 you know. Um, the chutes are easy to use. You just turn it, the crank chute, so it goes just back and forth easily. And then you got this, the chute deflector, which is easy. I grease them all, grease the chute deflector on the hinges right here. There's two hinges. I put grease on it, run it tacky. And then I grease this just so it has a nice, it can go rotate metal on metal. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice snowblower. It's very easy to start. Um, it's, it's great if you... If you need something commercial, steep driveway like mine, mine's pretty steep. Uh, it's not too steep, but it's pretty steep. I have a errands too. That's just for quick storms, like six to twelve inch. This is more like if you get like fifteen to twenty four inch or three feet, then this thing will go through anything. No bogging. It's heavy. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this machine is moving it around. Um, it's very cumbersome and heavy, especially if you're old, to move it around. Um, but that's the only thing I can really think of. The starting so easy. It actually has an electric start. Let me see back here. Yeah, there's an electric start right here. But unfortunately, I don't have electrical, uh, electrical outlet out here. But it is a great snowblower. Uh, very easy to use. I wanted, I wanted a huge, the biggest they had, so I, when I saw this, I just grabbed it. <laughs> and I think the dealer messed up because he put it as a 724 instead of a 1332 on the receipt. But I got it for $950 US, so that's really good. Uh, everything moves smoothly. I like this, the controls, because it's hydrostatic and you can just move it like that instead of the gears where you have to gear it. Um, this is still a good snowblower. It's like 10 horsepower since so 306 cc's. But this thing's awesome. Uh, it never bogs on me or anything. If you had like a small company or business, I would recommend doing this because of the tracks and everything going uphill. Um, I've never had a carb issue, but the carburetors are just under here. You can see, let me see if I can get it. I always turn it off. Right here, there's an off switch. Can't even see it on here. Yeah, there's an off. I always turn it off and then it just deprives itself of fuel. If you go towards the engine, it's on the fuel. Um, but, and that's my Honda 1332 review. Thanks.